Hello and welcome to another edition of Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. My name is Greg Johnson and we're filming today with the iPhone 3GS that has uh, standard video resolution capability but does a pretty good job on mobile video recording. So the uh, tip that I wanted to mention right now is with regard to what is in the professional video production world referred to as handles. When you are taking some video of a scene, you want to make sure that you have a few seconds or even more um, on either side of the event. Okay, so as I started recording myself just now, I made sure I had about five or ten seconds before starting. Now, I'm going to be huffing and puffing because I'm going up the hill and I've got a trailer behind me. You can see it back there. But uh, anyway, so you want to have what's called handles. It's just a few seconds, five to ten seconds, I'd say, before and after the event that you're taping. Um, normally, the reason for that is because you'd want to have some transitions, you know, fading from one shot to another, maybe a cross dissolve, that type of thing. And so you don't want somebody's words to be cut short because of that fade. You know, they're finishing whatever they're saying. If you had pushed the uh, stop button, then there's not really any video to kind of transition from, right? So anyway, that's the traditional reason why. That's the traditional reason why you'd want to have what's referred to as handles on video. Well, with the iPhone 3GS, it's even more important to have that little bit of time before and after a video because the built-in trimming editing capability is really quite useful but you really need to have a really good chunk of time on either side of your video at the beginning and the end to kind of trim it and get it just right um, un unless you want to just you know push record and you're ready to record but usually what happens is uh, you push the record button as the camera is facing you, the display is facing you, and then you turn the lens toward you. So usually you want to take that uh, first little bit of video out of there, that part of moving the camera, getting it adjusted just right. And the other thing you'll find is rather than starting and stopping the video while you're recording, um, it's really, it works a little better just to go ahead and keep recording because you can do this trimming inside of the camera, inside of the iPhone 3GS. I'm going to show you uh, some beautiful clouds up here, actually. I don't know if you can see that. You know, as, as long as there's not too much motion, and you have plenty of light, and there's not a wind, <laughs> and you have very little background noise, the iPhone 3GS does really well. So anyway, to recap, you want to make sure you have five to ten seconds before and after your video and that way you can use these trimming the trimming feature to identify the start and end of your video and then also um, you want to give yourself the leisure to go ahead and uh, when you're videotaping go ahead and just do a second take or a third take if you get something wrong because the video editing capabilities in the iPhone aren't sufficient to trim out any uh, fumbles, you know, so you kind of have to get it right in one full uncut take. Um, and if you're good at improvisational stuff, then that shouldn't be a problem. You can kind of do it without scripting. So anyway, I hope this uh, video update and tip has been helpful. Tune in again next time when we'll be talking about more video tips and other things of interest at Resources for Life TV at resourcesforlife.com. This is Greg Johnson signing out and wishing you happy video producing.